Hello everyone, I'm Turbo Matrix, but you can just call me Matrix, and welcome back to another episode of Spellbreak. <laughs> and well, today, you see all these different classes. We're, I'm going to be testing out all the ones that I have not plain, played as yet, which I've played as the Promancer, Tempest, and Con, Con, the Lightning Guy. So far, I really like Tempest, but I also really like the Lightning per the Lightning Gauntlet. So right now it's a tie between these two. But then we also have Frostborn, the Toxologist, and the Stone Shaper. The Stone Shaper really interests me because I barely see anyone using this. So I don't know if that's because it's bad or if it's underrated. But we're going to start it off from the top down with the... Frostborn. Now I have been playing this just a tiny bit, and I can say that it is a really, really, really good game. Also, before the match starts, if you guys didn't know, if you don't have a gauntlet equipped in your left hand, it'll just throw these purple balls that do... oh. Okay. I'm gonna land at... Your landing point carefully. Okay, I get it. Ruby Grove. But, um, I also understand that, um, almost every power can combine with one another in some sort of way. Like, it doesn't matter what two gauntlets you have, they're gonna combine in some sort of way. Um, but only if you use one before the other. But I can actually show you guys some things uh, in another episode, but I'm not planning on winning a match or anything like that. I just want to enjoy this game for y'all. And if that means winning and totally destroying people, so be it. But anyways, here's the Frostborn. Let's charge up. Oh, okay. So it's like some sort of archer. But, oh. Okay. oh, wait, is that this? That's how you do it. This guy is actually pretty cool. Like, you have to charge up the attack, and no matter how high you go, it's gonna make a mark. Oh, hold up. It's gonna make, like, this ice trail in that way. Obviously, oh, uh, look, it turned the water. There is no water power. I wonder if you combine this special attack. What is this? Oh, yes, yeah, this frozen thing. With fire, I wonder if it turns it to water. But, anyways. Let's, uh, play through this match. Oh! Enemy spotted. I'm shocked, I'm shocked, I'm shocked! Hold up, let me get out of here. Dead. Common Wind, uh... Epic Legendary. Common that. Okay. So... Nope. Let's drink up one of these. Another one. So anyways, here's what I was talking about. If we have this, and then we shoot... It does nothing. What was if we have Moving this, around. and we... Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. Some of them... Ooh. Some of them do not combine. But here's what I was wondering. Here, we're in the storm, right? I mean the storm circle. Yes, we are. Here's what I was wondering. So we have a fire gauntlet and ice gauntlet. I throw down that. Oh. Oh, oops. Okay. That's actually very interesting. So if someone has a firewall, if you shoot an ice arrow through it, it'll, it'll give you a place to walk through it. Now what happens if someone does this and you fire a fireball in it? Nothing. 
So that's what, so it's basically some, okay. Okay, so fire and ice combined do nothing. Oh, this is basically a legendary chest. So what you do is you go in here and you activate. You have to wait 20 seconds for this mana vault. Spawns, a le spawns legendary items after 20 seconds, so you have to wait in here. I suggest putting an ice shield around you while this happens. Towards the 10 second mark, because the ice shield will go out and it'll be done spawning. We have legendary wind. A scroll, spirit, and something we already have. Uh, okay. So, let's see what happens if I throw down one of these and throw an ice. Nothing. Ice? Doesn't really combine with a lot of things. Yes, these? You see how that's red? I believe that's fire, and the darker red is the rock. And well... No, that's... Is that the wind? No, that's the rock. So that's the rock color. Keep when you hit... On the storm. Okay. Okay, I get it. Now, that right there. It basically does a, a mini version of your big attack. So, those are very helpful if you have a lot of the same color, or a lot of the color of um, your gauntlets, of one of your gauntlets. Then you just shoot those around the enemy, and it'll damage them for you, so then you don't waste your bigger a big attack. Oh, come on! Okay, guys, so that was the Frostborn. Um, so next up is... Let's do the Toxologist. So, basically, the Toxologist has a bunch of poison splatters and then a poison cloud that also damages you. This is actually a good... Oh, but a lot of people use it. A lot of people use Toxologist because, look, it throws three, and basically if you step in it, it's it, it's anywhere around you. It throws, not three, like, it throws like a dozen of them. And they do some major damage. And then this, that is just rude. And then you can keep on throwing. This is a... Very weird one. Let's Where land where. We land today, Breaker? Let's land where no one else is landing. Sure. Actually, everyone's landing everywhere, so let's just land in the middle of nowhere. So let's see what the toxologist can combine with. Okay, so we have a rare wind gauntlet. Well, we have a wind gauntlet, so let's see. So remember, wind... And throw stuff like that. Okay, so there's stuff going on over there. Let's test our thing out. Let's throw that, and then throw that. Whoa, put... We just hit someone, by the way. Just hit someone. Boy, that can just overwhelm them. And then we already know that it can combine with fire. Flight? Yeah, flight. So, what about ice? What does it do with ice? Let's see. But first, from that, and that. Now, if we throw down... The poison cloud, and then 
Okay, it freezes it. So it freezes them inside of it. And I saw another person over here. Stay away from me. Really fast. Re okay, come on. I need to wait for the poison. I need to wait for the poison cloud to come back. Poison cloud, come back. Whoa. Okay. Immune? Wait. Oh my gosh. I... Okay, let's see. Huh? Ah, I guess we get to find out right now. This is actually very bad. This toxic thing is not that good for people in the air. Okay, so... My impressions on the toxic gauntlet. <sighs> It is good if you're attacking someone who is on the ground. But if they're moving around a lot, which you do a lot in this game, you jump around and all that stuff and you move around and all that and all and stuff like that. If someone is uh, flying around, it's awful because it takes a little while to get there and they're probably going to be behind it and it doesn't really do that much damage on impact. The more, the most damage coming from it is on the floor. So yeah, if you find a lot of people in your lobby that are on the ground, staying on the ground, which I highly doubt, this is the perfect secondary gauntlet. Not for, not, you should probably get something else like the fire one if you're going to rock the toxic one second. But I think Toxic One's not that good as a primary gauntlet. But anyways, the one that I personally have been waiting for, the Stone Shaper. Let's see what this can do. Let's see. That's why I barely see anyone using it, because it's base attack? is you just slamming the ground at them. What's its primary? Throwing... That's why. It is... It might... be... Okay. So if you spend a lot of your time attacking from the ground... This is a perfect... To engage the enemy. Okay. This is a... If you spend a lot of your time attacking from the ground and all that stuff, this is a perfect one for you. But for me, I would never use this as a primary gauntlet. Now, l let's just see how it works out in battle. I would never see myself using the this rock gauntlet as my primary. Nor my secondary, but that's just me. If I were to suggest this for primary or secondary, I would heavily suggest it for secondary. No wonder I don't see anybody using this. It's because... Look. I get that. That's cool. You slam down, you hit it, and then it blows up. But just to trying to attack sign... Again, like I said with the toxic one. People move around. At least for the toxic one, you could throw it up in the air and you might hit them. But for this, it forces you to go to the ground. Like, watch. I'm all the way up here, and then all of a sudden, if I, I just have to go down. Here, let me try that again. I have to go down. Like, I do not suggest this as a primary one. But let's see how it works. Hit! 30! It does! Tremendous! But look, now I can't hit her in here, so I have to use... Oh, she used the teleportation ability. To run away. Whoa! Okay. See, look, I missed that. It has... It's either right in front of you, or it's not. Ah, uh, see, uh, 
Now, I'm not that good at this game, so if you're really good at almost every single gauntlet that you use, go ahead and try to use the stone one. But for me, I suggest if you really want to use stone one, try to find it somewhere on the map and use it as a secondary. I would never suggest this as a primary one, but that's just me. Now, which one will would I use a lot? Well, I personally like the Tempest. Like, it, it, it's a very... How should I put this? It feels like... Just the attacks feel more... Um, what's the word? They feel more... Like... Free... It makes you feel more free to move around while using this. Can't remember which ability gives you the power to ride the tornado up. But if you get that ability, so where you can ride the tornado into the air, that's amazing for mobility. Let's wait. No time to hesitate. Pick a spot. I have 11 seconds to hesitate. I can hesitate as much as I want. I'm gonna pick that spot. I'm gonna pick that spot instead. But this is personally my favorite because the wind shear ability it is rapid fire now it does okay it does um how should i put this it does waste a lot of your stamina but it's very worth it especially if you need to get a, a bunch of quick attacks in there as you're waiting for your tornado to charge up or some other ability to charge up i recommend that now this look at all those crystals Look at that. There, there's so many. Now, what do we have here? We have a spirit and an uh, epic belt. Totally, because that's how I read. That's how I read my assignments at school. I put my hands in front of my chest and then I slowly raise them out as energy just emits from my body. Rare wind gauntlet. Uh, okay. Is this just? This just spawns. This must be like the the temple of the... Oh, yeah. That, there's the Tempest symbol. It, it, it is literally the temple of the Tempest. Okay. So. Let's see what happens if we combine this with the Tempest. Nothing. But the cool thing is, I believe if I do this and then this. Oh, no, we already tested this out. Ah, uh, never mind. But the tornado can combine with almost every single ability in this in, in, in the game, basically, almost every single one. So, it, if you see someone throwing some tornadoes at you, but instead they're right on top of him, go ahead, throw one of your fireballs, and so instead of instead of you risking it damaging you, instead it damages the the enemy. Anyways, um, I will, if I win this game, you'll be seeing a few little snippets of it, and then a nice little victory at the end. Yay, woo! If I don't win, you're gonna be seeing me do a little sad face. Aw. But yeah. Actually, you won't see my face at all, because I don't have webcam, nor do I want to show you people my face. Because it's obviously super beautiful. And if anyone tells... The and, storm's closing in. Okay, I get it, lady. And if anyone tells you otherwise, don't believe them. <laughs> but anyways, I will um, see you guys either when I win this match or when I lose it. Well, guys, um, I obviously didn't win. <laughs> but I'll see you. You all in the in the um, in the next one.